I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's a tour of the Q158 VCA2++. Okay, here we have the Q158 VCA2++. This module has two VCAs, number one and number two, and each VCA has an invertible attenuator for the control voltage and a gain knob. So these are full featured VCAs with linear responses. In the middle section here, we have a three-channel mixer, which mixes the output from VCA number one and VCA number two, along with a third input with no attenuator. We also have a switch here, which we can invert the output of VCA number two for the mixer. And that's important for use with uh, ring modulation, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Another feature we have for VCA2++ is that the inputs for channel number two come from channel number one automatically if you don't have plugs in channel number two. So they're automatically normalized down to here. And that's important for use uh, by doing ring modulation, which happens to be two VCAs tied together for a qu four quadrant multiplier, or for panning, fading, and various other things. So that's helpful if you need your input to go to both VCAs. All you have to do is patch it here and it automatically goes there. The same with the control voltage. If you patch it here, it automatically gets normalized down to channel number two, unless you put a plug in there and then it breaks that normalization. When you have two VCAs together, you can perform a lot of functions. One of those is a panner. And what a panner is, is it takes one signal and it routes it to either one output or a second output. And so you can pan left or right under voltage control. And the VCA2++ makes that easy by normalizing the input and control voltage channels uh, from the top section to the bottom section. It does that automatically so you don't have to patch those. All you have to do is set the knobs right. And if you look in the data sheet, there is a cheat sheet that shows you how to set the knobs for the panning function. Another thing you can do with two VCAs is produce a fader. And a fader is like a reverse panner. It takes two inputs, one, two, and it sends those to the output, either the first one or the second one, or a ratio of the two. And that's all under voltage control. So in the fader circuit, you can also see this in the data sheet. There's a cheat sheet for it. You take uh, an input number one and input number two, and this will be your output. And the control voltage will go here, but it's already normalized down to this one. So all you have to do is set the knobs right. You don't have to have a patch cable for that. Okay, a third thing you can do with two VCAs is you can patch up ring modulation. And what ring modulation is, it's basically four quadrant multiplying. A single VCA is just a two quadrant multiplier, and a ring modulator is a four quadrant multiplier, and that takes two VCAs, since our VCAs only go from a control voltage of zero to five volts. So how we do that, you can see in the cheat sheet on the data sheet, is we patch uh, two inputs into the one into the input here and into the control voltage and these are normalized down to the second channel so you don't have to do a lot of patching you get your output from the mixer output also in ring modulation that's the purpose of the inverting of the second VCA so that switch will go up if you look in the data sheet there's an explanation of how to set the knobs and how to do the patch cables for ring modulation sounds really good